Thank you very much, uh, President Dennis Hefner, and uh, the great leadership that you provide uh, to our community throughout the state. Uh, SUNY is uh, a 63 campus sprawling system throughout New York State. A lot of great institutional parts of that system. Uh, SUNY Fredonia uh, is emerging as uh, one of the top schools in the entire state. And that doesn't happen by accident. It comes through very great, great leadership. And Dennis Hafner continues to provide it uh, by doing innovative things, uh, that are not only academic in nature, but also promote uh, this extraordinary economy in Northern Michigan. So Dennis, uh, thank you for your leadership. Thank you for your friendship. And uh, I must tell you, Dennis made reference to John Higgins. And as Dennis said, he assures me that he's doing well socially. <laughs> He also assures us that he's doing well academically. Uh, we'll see, as Dennis said next week. That's new information to me. <laughs> <laughs> now, if John was in school, he'd be here with me. But he's on break, so of course he's sleeping. Assemblyman <laughs> uh, Bill Carman, uh, State Senator Kathy Young, uh, County Executive Greg Edwards, and uh, Mayor Dick Fry. Uh, I want to say a, something about Mayor Fry. He had a vision for this a long time ago, as Dennis had mentioned. But the thing I always remember about Dick Fry, uh, from the very first day that I met him, he represents the warmth and the friendship of the good people of this great city that he loves and he needs. So this is a particularly great day for our Mayor uh, Dick Fry. Dick, thank you for your friendship. This uh, project will go a long way to advancing the uniqueness of, of SUNY Fredonia, but also this great economy in uh, northern Chicago County. Uh, the incubator, the, the, the economic development departments, they always use these kind of strange words that really don't mean a lot to people. And what this really is, what this really is, it provides a, an academic basis, a technological basis with human and technological infrastructure uh, to help start up companies. And this is the great job growth engine of the American economy. People are down today because we're in a severe economic contraction. Since World War II, we've had eight recessions and seven recoveries. We're beginning to stabilize toward the next recovery, which is very, very important. What you should understand about the American economy, it's the strongest economy in the world, and it always will be. Despite going through these economic crises and recoveries, uh, we represent about 30% of the world economy as measured by the gross domestic product. Despite having 5% of the world's population, we are leaders in information technology, in biotechnology, in every cutting edge technology. The American economy is resilient, is strong, and will recover stronger than it ever has been before. And it's in these periods of economic contraction, severe economic contraction, that companies like Intel, Microsoft, and this new incubator are, are born uh, to help out new technologies in the new economy that will create jobs and create more opportunity, including especially for job clients. <laughs> uh, let me also say another individual who's on the, the list today but's not here is uh, Kevin Kearns. Kevin's the associate. Vice President for Graduate Studies. I was with Kevin yesterday, and he experienced the untimely tragic loss of his uh, niece. And uh, our prayers and our thoughts uh, go to Kevin uh, and his family today. And thank you, all of you, for being here. You know, we're the politicians that get to stand up here and take credit for things. But you're the human infrastructure of this great institution, of this great community, and you enable us to do good things to help our mutual constituents. So uh, for your leadership, for your friendship, uh, thank you very, very much and happy holidays.